Hi, this is Wonder Kids, a podcast where we answer big science questions and the amazing SciTech staff find the answers. My name is Zaya and I've just been exploring my garden, looking at all the different plants because of some questions we received from Elliot and Ariana. Take a listen. Hi, my name is Elliot and my question is, why are cacti green all over? Hi. My name is Ariana, and my question is, why does a cactus have spikes? And to answer those questions, we have Rose with us today. Hi there, my name is Rose. What great questions. Let's start with Elliot's question. Why are cacti green all over? If you've ever seen a cactus, you might have noticed a few things about it. A cactus looks a bit different compared to other plants. It doesn't seem to have leaves, branches, or a trunk. There's just a squishy body with lots of spiky stuff. And the body is all green. This is because cacti grow in very hot and very dry environments. Plants live in lots of different places. Have a think of the kinds of plants you see near a beach. They're usually short, sometimes a little bit squishy. Now, think of the plants you might see out in the bush. Big tall trees, big bushes and lots of flowers. These plants have adapted to their environment, meaning they've slowly changed over time to be able to live where they live. Can you think of where you've seen a cactus growing in the wild? It's usually somewhere like a desert, where it's very hot and very dry. So over time, cacti have changed their morphology or body type to survive in this harsh environment. Most cacti are green because they are full of chlorophyll, a very important chemical that's coloured, you guessed it, green. Chlorophyll is important for plants because it absorbs the sunlight used to make food. On a lot of plants there are green leaves which are used to catch the sunlight. But Leaves can also lose a lot of water. Every leaf has lots of tiny holes that allow water to escape into the air. So, leaves aren't a very good option in places where there's not a lot of water around. Cacti are green all over, so they don't need the same kinds of leaves as other plants. Now, let's think about Ariana's question. Why does a cactus have spikes? If you have a cactus at home, you might have noticed that they need very little water. And if you look carefully without touching, you can see lots of spikes on a cactus. Some are little, some are thick, some are in groups, and some are in patterns. These spikes are actually teeny tiny leaves. The plant has changed over many, many generations to have spikes instead of normal leaves. And because the cactus doesn't have any normal leaves, less water escapes. The spikes also stop animals from eating the cactus. Cacti come in lots of different shapes. Some grow round like a ball, some grow tall like a tree, some grow in little buds like a flower. They're usually a squidgy pudgy shape because they are trying to keep lots of water inside their body. Animals like to try and eat a cactus for a watery snack but they can't because of the protective spikes. So, to answer your excellent questions, cacti are green because they are full of chlorophyll, which is green. They have green bodies instead of green leaves because they have adapted to live in hot, dry environments. And their spikes protect them from being eaten. Next time you see a plant, see if you can figure out where the plant is catching sunlight so where it's green, and if the plant has any special parts to help it grow. Thanks, Rose. So, we've just learned that cacti are green because they need to get sunlight to make food. And it's hot where they live, so they have spikes instead of leaves. We have also learned some new words today. Adapted means changing to suit an environment. Morphology means body shape or body type. Chlorophyll is a chemical used by plants to absorb sunlight and 
it's green. Thanks for listening to Wonder Kids. This series is brought to you by SciTech. Explore your world through wonder.